वेलकम टू माई चैनल आई टी स्मार्ट ट्रेनिंग इफ माई वीडियो इज इन्फॉर्मेटिव प्लीज लाइक माई वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल डोंट फॉरगेट टू प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट मोर अप टू डेट EBS volume types use cases GP2 EBS volume can use recommended for most workloads system bootable volume we can use this GP2 volume and we can use is also virtual desktop and low latency interactive apps development and test environments we can use this the minimum size is 1 gb and maximum is using is 16 tb small gp2 volumes can be brushed iops to 3000 maximum ios is supported is 16000 3 ios per gb means at 5334 gb we are at the maximum iops now i go to the aws portal i just search here the volume click on volumes or just go to the ec2 and click on volumes whatever you preferred under volumes i just create a volume click on gp2 see here is uh, uh, size is uh, 100 gb and here is a uh, 300 iob is taken and the brush is 3000 so if i set 1 gb so it will take 100 iops if i take 50 gb it will take 150 iops and the brush rate is 3000 here is minimum size is 1 gb and the maximum is 16384 gb so if i provide here 3000 i can take sorry 3000 i can take one 1000 i can take 3000 i of and no brush is available so per gb it can take 3 i ops so i take 1000 gb so it will take 3000 i ops So maximum I can configure one six three eight four one six three eight four. So it will take sixteen thousand IOPS. Sixteen thousand IOPS per volume size is greater than five three 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 GB. So five three three GB is sixteen thousand IOPS. So I just change it to hundred. Sorry, thousand. It will take three thousand IOPS. So if I type here nine nine nine, so it will take two nine nine seven IOPS, and the brush rate is very low. That is three thousand. So, and the other options here, that is availability zone. I am configure it to AP South one availability zone. So this is a very important snapshot is not taken. Encryption volume I am not create. If you click on create volume, the volume will create. For now, it's just tracing purpose. I am not creating the volume. And one more thing, the throughput option is not showing here because the GP2 volume is throughput is not applicable here. EBS volume types use cases for GP3. The durability is ninety eight, ninety nine point eight to ninety nine point nine. It is used for virtual desktop, minimum size single instance database such as Microsoft SQL Server and Oracle latency sensitive interactive applications and dev and test environments. You can use this. Use as a boot volume. The minimum size is one GB and maximum is sixteen TB. Max IOPS is per volume is sixteen thousand. Max throughput. per volume is 1000 mbps max iops instance is 260 to 26000 
maximum throughput per instance is 70, 75,000 Mbps. Now let's go to the lab. And just create volume. Click on create volume. Select uh, GP3. So in GP3, uh, the minimum size is 1 GB and the maximum is 16 TB. Here the minimum I of 3000, maximum I of 16000, but you can uh, change your IOPS as per your requirement. And the throughput is uh, 125 MB and maximum is 1000 Mbps. By default is 125. So it this is also can change. So I am here configuring the 10 GB and see IOPS 3000 I can take or I can change the IOPS to 100 IOPS, IOPS must be between 3000 to 1600 because uh, the if you want to take 10 GB, 20 GB, 30 GB, 50 GB whatever the minimum IOPS will be 3000 and I can set this IOPS to 4000 as well because I have to provide the IOPS minimum 3000 and maximum is uh, 16000 IOPS. So it is the far better technology than GP2 where we can change our I IOPS and the output is also uh, very uh, fast. So I can also change the Mbps minimum is 120 Mbps is uh, output and the uh, we can change it to 500 Mbps or s below 125 I cannot say it because I have to provide the between 125 to 1000 Mbps so I said 125 this is the minimum so these are the options and select the availability zone over here I select the default availability zone AP South 1 because I have to know that the all the storage we want to configure and EC2 and the uh, storage will be the same availability zone so that's that's only we can access that all these things so this is the GP3 volume where we can set the minimum size is 1 GB and maximum is 16 TB. IOPS is for IOPS is 3000 minimum, which is the far better than GP2, and the maximum we can set uh, 16000. And we can also change the throughput as well. Minimum is 125. So this is all about the GP3. EBS volume types use cases for IO1 or IoT, IO2. So it is used for critical baseline applications that require sustained IOPS. Performance or more than 16,000 IOPS per volume, just like GP2 limit. Large database workloads such as uh, MongoDB, Cassandra, Microsoft SQL Server, PostgreSQL, Oracle. The minimum volume size is supported is 4 GB and maximum is 16 TB. IOPS is called provision IOPS. Minimum is 100, maximum is 64,000. It is used for NITO systems. Else, max 32,000 other instances we can use. The minimum ratio of provisions IOPS to required volume sizes in GB is 50 is to 1. 50 IOPS for 1 GB. Let's go to the lab. Now I am showing to the lab uh, on IO1 and IO2. I just go IO1. This is a provisions IOPS. So here is the minimum size is given to 4 GB and maximum we want to configure here to 16 TB. And the minimum IOPS in is uh, 100 and the maximum is 64,000 IOPS. So here if I provide 1 GB it will giving a warning because it is a minimum size is 4 GB so if I provide 4 so IOPS will taken 200 I can also set the IOPS is 100 over here as well uh, and if I set over here 1 6 3 8 4 for that we can use 64 
0.000 IOPS as well. So volume is greater than 32000 IOPS must be attached to the nitro base instance to achieve the provision performance. So this kind of uh, volume we can attach the nitro base system which we are nitro base systems. Uh, so we can attach this volume and the zone is this and all the other configuration are the same. This is the IO1 and if we set an IO2 both are almost same. The performance wise IO2 is just I'm just showing you all configurations are same the performance wise IO1 and IO2 is uh, little bit difference IO2 is better than IO1 so that's all other the configuration are the same this is all about IO1 and IO2 EBS volume types use cases for ST1 streaming workloads requiring consistent force throughput at low price in that scenario we can use ST1 type volume it is used for big data data warehouse and log processing we can also use it for Apache Kafka and this kind of volume we cannot use as a boot volume minimum minimum volume size is 500 GB and maximum size is 16 TB but it is this data is we can use this kind of uh, this uh, size we can use previous AWS services but and now the AWS revise and upgrade their systems and the minimum is 125 GB and maximum is 116 GB and maximum IOPS supported is 500 maximum throughput of 500 Mbps and can be browsed so we are discussing about burst in a separate lecture video because that is a big lecture video so next we are going to the lab section so we are starting hands-on labs now I show you the ST1 I just create I just select ST1 which is a throughput optimized here is the op op throughput zero optimized minimum is uh, 125 gigahertz and maximum is 16384 IOPS is not applicable over here throughput is uh, here is showing uh, 20 to 123 and baseline is 40 mbps per terabyte so here I just do 1024 it's uh, 1 TB 40 throughput this is a baseline is 40 and I configured here to 12,000 the throughput is 469 and the baseline is 40 Mbps and if I select 16 384 this is also IOPS not applicable and throughput is 500 and the baseline is 40 Mbps as well because for 1 TB what bandwidth we can get that is a 40 Mbps as well as the 16 TB we got the same and the availability zone are the same concept and all those things this is all about ST1 Now we are talking about EVS volume types use cases with uh, SC1. Actually, we are using this kind of volume uh, where uh, the huge amount of data stored and the and we are uh, bearing a very lowest cost. And this is actually a throughput oriented storage for the large volumes. Uh, and that should be uh, infrequently accessed means monthly two or three times as well as this scenarios is applicable where the low cost is important and stored the huge amount of data in that scenario we are using this and this 
storage cannot be used as a boot volume because we cannot install operating system into it. The minimum size of this volume is 125 GB and maximum is 16 TB. IOPS is not applicable over here. Maximum throughput of this volume is 220, 250 Mbps and can be brushed. Now I am showing you SC1. I am selecting the volume type sc1 which is called hdd the minimum of uh, size is 125 gb and the maximum is 116 tb if i provide 100 it will not take minimum 125 125 it is take and iops is not also this uh, uh, applicable over here and throughput is 2 by 10 the baseline is 12 mps per terabyte so yeah i just configure uh, 1024 you can see the baseline is 12 mps is uh, showing over here so our maximum i can use 16384 this is the maximum size limit if i increase more than that we cannot because the baseline is 16384 so this is the configuration part of cold HDD SC3 SC, SC1